Hey y'all, Chef King Nell's back with another video. Hope y'all been cooking and I hope y'all been blessed. Today, I'm doing pig feet, barbecue chicken, potato salad, and spinach. So, let's get into this video, y'all. So, I already washed off my pig feet, okay? So I'm gonna drain them off. And I washed off my chicken for the barbecue chicken. And I already peeled and cut up my potatoes. And a clip is coming with that in just a second. And we're back. So we did that. And now we're going to get our potatoes into the pan. The pot, I'm sorry. Get them into this pot, all right? Turn y'all over so y'all can see me and I can see y'all, y'all beautiful faces. Okay. And we're just going to add these straight into the pot. And I filled these with a pair of knife. I didn't use a potato peeler, old school pair of knife. And you just peel them, set them in the water so they don't change color while you're trying to peel the rest of your potatoes. Okay? You hear my TV in the background? I apologize watching Iron Chef. That's one of my favorite shows. Okay. And I'm also, I'm going to do that challenge that Mama Jones did on her channel. Um, the ramen pizza. I'm going to do that. Because I got to put my pig feet on. Wash these off. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day to everybody. We remember all our loved ones that are not with us no more. Like my mama. I love you and miss you. Okay. So, I have some sea salt here and I'm going to add it to my pot for our potatoes and I'm also going to add the eggs in so they can all boil together. All right. Now, I have some eggs here. And I'm going to need about six eggs. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. So now we're going to get into this pig feet and get that cooking. All right. Get this started, y'all. So we get our pig feet on it. Like I said, I done already washed them and cleaned them. So now I'm just going to put them on. And here they are, and I got them split. Okay. Our garbage in here. So what is everybody doing for Cinco de Mayo, those who celebrate it? Usually I cook. I light a candle and I remember, you know, my great my grandfather, my great my great grandmother, and um my cousin and my great grandfather as well. And now I can remember my mother. 
So this year I wasn't prepared because everything happened unexpectedly. So next year I definitely will be celebrating for Cinco de Mayo. Wash your hands. All that dirt and stuff on the potatoes. This is the chicken, because my wife and my son not too particular on pig feet, and my wife doesn't eat it at all. My son tasted it, but he's two, so, you know. And I already cleaned these, and I'm just gonna rinse them off a few times. Make sure they're good, and I'm gonna season them up, and let them sit and marinate. And this is going to be barbecue chicken. All the water. Okay. So, we're going to get into that in a second. I'm going to finish with our pig feet. Now, for our pig feet, I'm going to have to cut up onion. Okay, I have to cut up an onion and put it in there because I like onions. Usually I will put um, green and red peppers in, but I don't have any in on hand today. So, we're going to use what we have, which will still come out delicious, flavorful, and juicy. So I have an onion here. Let me show y'all the... We have the potatoes and the eggs going. I put the pig feet in. All right, y'all, we're back and our potatoes and eggs are done. And I let them sit in a cool water bath, both eggs and potatoes, so it can stop the cooking process. So now we're going to This is celery seed. This is sweet pickle relish. Okay, y'all see that? My grandma, she gets the whole sweet pickles and just cut them up real fine. I didn't have the time to do that, so I just got this. Right. And we have old style mustard green. Okay. pepper this is a very large bowl guys so you want to make sure sea salt it's very well mixed I have some parsley here Okay. 
a little yellow mustard. So you know how much you need. Some people like their potato salad wet. Some people like their potato salad on the dry side. Me, myself, I am in the middle. I don't want it dry and I don't want it wet. I want it just right. So, with that being said, you add little by little until you get the consistency that you want. Okay? Clean spoon. Start mixing. Taste it. Bit more salt. And pepper. Rinse my spoon off. And taste it again. Okay. I'm missing some, guys. Just a little bit. You don't want a whole lot. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right. So I'm going to put this in a refrigerator, let it get cold, and then we're going to start on the seasoning for our chicken. So we can let that marinate for a little bit. And so we'll pop that in the oven so we can get started on our barbecue chicken. And I'm making spinach, but I'm really not pressed about the spinach. Um, my main thing was the potato salad, the pig feet, and the chicken. So we're going to come back and get into that in the field, right? See y'all soon. All right. So we have our clean chicken here. And we're going to put in some grilled rub seasoning. And it has salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Now we want to heavily season this like a dry rub. Do we? Tony's Creole seasoning. I have Wishshire sauce here. And this will be rice vinegar. And you just want to mix that, incorporate it together. I'm going to let this sit. So all these flavors. Incorporate into the chicken. Now, I'm going to tell y'all. Tell y'all something. 
poke a little hole in your chicken. Not a big old cucamonga hole. Just enough where the marinade can seep through it. Okay? That's all you want. This is what we have. And that will marinate for about two hours. Then I'm gonna put it in the oven at four, no, 375 for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna coat it with the barbecue sauce and slide it back in the oven, oven for another 15 minutes and then they'll be done. This is our pig feet. They are done. They're tender and oh my god, taste good. I took, I tasted a piece and almost melted, y'all. And then we have our chicken, which is ready to come out. And we're going to get those out right now. So everything is done. So we just got to take everything out and we're going to plate. So I'm going to show you what the plate looks like. For the pig feet dinner and I'm also going to show you the plate for the barbecue chicken. Tonight my family didn't want a vegetable so the spinach is out. So they just want the potato salad and their meat which fine whatever. Let's cook time for me. So let's get our chicken out. Turn our oven off. chicken out all right and I'm gonna plate this up for y'all and I'll be back in just a sec all right guys this is it potato salad pig feet homemade hot sauce and this is the barbecue dinner potato salad <laughs> barbecue chicken look at that chicken y'all mm, 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 mm. yes and that is it for my video thank y'all for watching rocking with me standing by me all the above i love y'all so much and i'm so thankful and blessed and humble for you guys all my subscribers thank you to the new subscribers that just joined my family thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you please don't forget to like comment and if you're not a family member already hit that notification bell hit the notification hit the subscribe button join my family yeah i'm hungry my mouth is water i'm so hungry i'm not missed for words i'm literally starving uh, and um yeah hit the notification bell so every time i drop a video you'll be notified thank y'all keep cooking and stay blessed y'all and be safe out here in these streets because of this pandemic please if you do not have to go outside don't stay home your family is way more important than risking your life doing whatever it is that you want to do that ain't important stay home okay i love y'all chef king nails is out Ooh.